where they say the origination of man comes from. Poverty, lack of government control, in debt, in debt, up to the hilt, and seem like there's no way out, but there is a way out. You have in your body a good cell and a bad cell. Now, there can be a time when the bad cell overtakes the good cell. And you have to find out why that bad cell has arisen. And the bad cell here is the government. And the good cell are you, the people. And there's more of you than there is of them, but their badness, their devouring, what they do, their destruction, and what they've done in control of you have taken you over. And you want to know, even in your body, you need to get to find out what is feeding that bad cell and empowering that bad cell. And most of the time, it's something we consume like sugar. It's a silent killer. Well, the consumption of the bad cell empowerment to the condition of Africa, what has happened in destruction is some of the international outside forces that seem like they're good, they're fine, they're doing good, and they're treating everyone real fine, and they're doing things good for you, but they know about the corruption. They know about the bad sales. Eventually, if we don't do something about that bad sale that's internally inside of the continent, inside of Kenya, inside of Nigeria, we will be devoured. But Africa, because of these people that are brave enough to speak out and to tell you what is going on and to bring it to your attention and understanding and knowledge that you'll be able to tell it to someone else, Tell your preachers that you want to hear the truth about what's going on in this world and not the philosophy of what he thinks might happen in another world. So you can make a stand together. How can you pursue the enemy if you don't know who or what, who the enemy is or what the enemy is doing? You know, our churches can be a house of blessing, but they can also be a house of enslavement or empowerment to the forces that are keeping us down. And let's look at this. The gospel that we hear promises us that things will be better in the by and by, and some they call prosperity say right now. But what they are not preaching and teaching is what's actually going on. You need to hear what's going on once they empower you through their gospel that they should be preaching and not going along with the government and being in support of the government. In fact, wasn't it Jesus that went against the government and he called on them about their corruption? He didn't go along to get along. He stirred some feathers. So the preachers in the pulpit that are speaking heaven need to really bring it down that you are actually living in a created hell here on earth because you're poor and your leaders are getting richer and richer and you're getting poorer and poorer. And they're controlling your churches. Talk to your pastor. Tell him you want to hear the gospel as is spoken, that people will arise and the power of God will manifest in them to get rid of all wickedness because poverty is wickedness. Sickness is wickedness. Corruption is wickedness. And I haven't heard one minister, whether it was in Kenya, East Africa, or in West Africa, Nigeria, get up and proclaim to get that devil out of the government. They say they can command it in the name of Jesus, but they ought to be calling on it and calling out names and making that devil flee.
Tell them. Tell your ministers that you want to hear the truth about what's going on so you can make a stand. If you don't hear the truth, you can't make a stand. If they tell you you have a disease, the minister tells you from the pulpit, go get a doctor's diagnosis first and then come here. If they can't do nothing, then we'll pray for you and you get healed. Okay, we need to heal this. Let's make a stand, people. People need to know your neighbor, when I was riding in uh, Nigeria, I questioned seven year earbuds and I questioned seven evils. And all seven of them I questioned. Out of the, uh, I rode in nine, were 18 calves or 17 calves. Nine earbuds and seven, eight evils. And only a, though three or four of them knew anything about what's going on to be able to really talk about it. We need to spread the word and make a stand. All right. Hey, <laughs> arise, Africa. Arise. Arise to your greatness. Africa speaks. Africa is rising. Hey, are you listening? Oh, yeah. Hey, this is Janelle, and you're watching Africa Speak.